Hi guys, welcome back. This is part three of the wedding accessories for the mini crochet bear. In this video, we're making a little bow tie. If this is the first time you've seen one of these videos, there is a playlist that will walk you through all the steps of making this bear and all the accessories that go with it. And that playlist is popping up on your screen. That's a little circle there. You can click that. If you don't see a circle there, look in the description box below and the playlist is there. To make the little bow tie, we're of course using black yarn, but I'm going to show you how to do it using this cream colored yarn because black uh, doesn't show up so well on film. Those of you who struggle using black yarn, I would suggest sitting in front of a window that has lots of light or use a lamp and put that right over your stitches and that should help you uh, get through it. I'm using the same hook that I've been using all along and that's a 4.25 millimeter hook. And again, I'm using a bobby pin to attach my bow tie to the bear. If you don't have a bobby pin, of course, you can just sew the uh, bow tie right to the bear. And I'm also using a blunt end yarn needle. If you don't need help with the crocheted rows, there is a free written pattern that can be printed off, and that link is popping up on your screen. Alright guys, grab your crochet hook and let's get started. Alright, so row 1, chain 11. So make your slip knot, yarn over and pull through 11 times. There's our chain of 11 and starting in the second chain from the hook, there's the first one. Starting in the second one, we're going to single crochet across the chain. At the end of row two, and now we have 10 stitches across. Chain one and turn. Row three is one single crochet in each one of those 10 stitches. And we're going to be skipping the chain that we just made, so we start in the first stitch of the row. And in this row, work the starting yarn tail into the first three stitches. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Put your hook through, hold the starting yarn tail over your hook. There's one, two, we're crocheting around that starting yarn tail. And that just saves us from having to weave it in at the end. Okay, we're going to cut it free, but just give it a little tug so we know that it's pulled up to the end. And now we can cut it free. Be careful not to cut any of your working yarn. All right, now we'll continue on. One single crochet to the end. All right, guys, I just made it across. Now we're going to join the ends. So chain one, hold the ends together. And now we're going to slip stitch across the edge. We're going to put two of them in. So just go through the first loop. Just pick up a loop. And then the other loop on the other side. Pull yarn through and through and then through. Now push your hook through the next loop and we're doing it this way to keep it from getting too thick on the ends. Now push your hook through the next loop. Pull the yarn through and through and then through. And there we go, we're all done. Now we're going to break free, leave a tail that you can use to wind up the middle. Thread your yarn tail with your yarn needle before we continue on with the next step. Okay, open it up and then fold it with the joined edges in the center in the back. And now we're going to wrap around the middle really tight, creating a bow. Just like that. Okay, and now we're going to bring our yarn needle through anywhere so we can knot off. I'll just pick a little bit of yarn close by, pull through, and before pulling all the way through, go that go through that loop and pull tight. Now we're going to weave in the yarn tail, just bring it through anywhere and out. And just stretch out either corner, because it might be a little bit bunched up, and do it on both sides. I just grab it with my fingernails and pull. So to attach it to the bear, I'm just going to use a bobby pin again. Don't use stick pins because they can put someone at risk of injury. Just push it through, a little bit of yarn, and that's it. All right, and now to attach it, this one is going to have to go down into the body and not behind, of course, because of the uh, bobby pin's too long. It'll just stick out the other end. And there we go. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. So part four will be the hat. As soon as it's available, it will be popping up on your screen. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you super soon.